But hey, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. All right, so going into that that private online server that I was talking about, and I've shown before, the base that I was building, I kind of played around with some concepts in an offline server and online, and decided that I wanted to make a, a specific style of base, and I did. And I decided that I didn't like it, so I ripped everything down and I kind of restructured things and the more I think about it I still want to tear it apart again and rebuild everything again but for now I kind of like the way it is so what I'm gonna do is as soon as it loads in you, sh you guys should have good video and audio now uh, and I will not be able to type messages in either discord or in the YouTube chat so yeah while I'm in game Conan does not like for you to tab out while you're in game in the main menu, no big deal. But eh, when you're actually in the game itself, it does not like it. All right, so this is my basic crafting room, and you can see I have a couple thralls here. Um, we'll start on this side and work around since there's less here. I've got two blacksmith benches. Um, I'm going to end up moving them one to another location. But, as you can see here, um, both of them do have a level 3 blacksmith on them. So this one will actually get moved, and he'll go to the new location. I've stacked up some little standard boxes. You can stack them on top of each other too high like that. That's as high as you can go with them. But it's just to hold extra stuff like, um, you know, iron bars, steel bars, whatever that you need for the station you're next to. Got a carpenter's bench, and I have a level three in there, and a level one that I'm going to take somewhere else. I have my fermenting barrel for making beer and mead and so forth. I have the grinder for grinding. Well, yeah, um, different things for making other materials. You can see I've got some gold dust and some silver dust in here, which those are going to be used for. And the reason why I did the the other mod, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, the fluid press is good for taking your um, highland berries or whatever and making it into highland berry pulp, which is good for replenishing your water. Got a stove, got more storage, a large campfire, because there are things you can't cook on the stove that require a large campfire. And yes, that is cooked human flesh. I'll showcase why I have that in here in a minute. I have two tanneries. This one primarily is for storage and for light things. And this one is for heavier stuff because I actually have a thrall on that. Just a level one, but eh, whatever. You see I've got a lot of wolf pelts. And that was because there was uh, the last two of the purges were wolves. Primarily needed the tar for certain things. But as you can see, um, I have no shortage of regular leather which you can use this for a bunch of different things including making the light bandages I got my armory table and shoot yeah level three uh, armor on there artisan workbench it's just level one carpenter um, torturers wheel I've just got a taskmaster one thrown on here so I can make my iron truncheon and my bindings for capturing thralls fireball cauldron which Corrupted stone requires demon blood, ichor, and regular stone. And you need 200 corrupted stone in order to create the map room. And good God Almighty, there's a lot of stuff involved in it. 200 corrupted stone, 35 iron reinforcement, 75 alchemy, uh, alchemy, uh, alchemical, whatever the hell, alchemy base, and 50 crystals a lot of crap to make um, the one thing so you see I have well you know four demon blood so far that's all I've, I've picked up so far so I can throw some stone on here and use that to make some of the corrupted stones I'm gonna need 200 so I'm gonna need 200 demon blood 200 ichor and 200 stones to be able to make 200 corrupted stones there's going to be a lot of ingredients for that. A drying rack, and yes, I have a, an armor or two shoved in here. 
and just a miscellaneous. Now this section right here is for my wheel of pain and lesser wheel of pain. See I put a sign outside the door saying what's in there. It's empty, this one's empty, empty and empty. Now you see I've got a regular wheel of pain inside here. It's three high room and gruel is the the usual method for retaining thralls. It's cheap, it's effective, it works. And you see I've got a Taskmaster 2 on this one. Um, I have a Taskmaster 3 on this one. And this lesser wheel of pain over here, as you can see, there's a human flesh in there. Yeah, what better way to tame a thrall? And all you do is you, you drag them in here and yeah, 123 putrid meat. Well, I can grab that putrid meat that's spoiled human flesh and I can bring it over to, well, see, I got storage hidden underneath here as well. Small boxes are good for storing underneath stairwells. I've got um, yellow lotus blossoms are used to make a potion that can reset your stats and you can re-roll your, your character whatever you want to and it requires 10 so you can see I've got a few already stacked up just in case I want to restructure I've got aloe and bandages in here it's 10 aloe leaves and some leather to or whatever leather and aloe leaves to make um, uh, the light bandages the downfall to them is you have to be standing still and you cannot be in combat over here I've got the compost pile and I'll grab that throw it in here and use that to make compost for growing things in planter pots and as you notice there are stairs on both of these two rooms that lead to the upstairs let's get ready to get dark here so in this corner which I haven't put a torch in yet is a beehive it generates honey and a magical well that's over here that's I guess drawing water from the air I uh, do need to do a little bit more on the exterior lighting. I've got a named archer sitting up top here. I don't know why he's still staying in this direction. We'll look over here at that stuff in just a moment. Um, stairs leading up. and Now you notice that I just jumped over a set of stairs here. And the reason why I have that set up is I can actually walk directly down to there. Or if I want to go up to the well another way, I can run over here and jump and go over to the well. So, going upstairs, let's go ahead and eat some fish strips. And I had some more chairs, I had chairs out here by this table and stuff on the table. But just wanted a nice little sitting area. That is a sandstorm off in the distance. I'm in the green zone, in this area here. The sandstorm does not affect me over here. You can see it is cold. So go up here to the top level. A warning, there will be naked females but we'll look at that in just a moment I've got my yes you can see them through the window up there I've got two forges here I keep this one set up for doing glass and this one set up for doing steel or iron either way the reason why I have them here is holy crap speckle there's a buttload of iron right here that spawns and I know it's getting dark and there's a couple coal nodes that are over there I love when it gets dark when you try to do something. This is the bedroom. My bed, all my candles, and yes, naked females dancing so that um, we won't focus in on them because, you know, there we go, entertained. So if you get corruption, you can always just come over here and take care of that. You can see the particles flying around because of the sandstorm. It's blowing by, so it's, it's not going to affect us here. So let's go take a look at the rest of it and... That little thing of putting these little signs outside the door, as soon as you you get something, right down on the sign, you change the message to say, you know, like, other people use my, my wheels as they're passing by because there's um, some cool stuff. Yeah, no, I know. I have a small channel, but spread the word and get more people to watch. Um, I guess my disposable archer is sitting out here. Um, I stole the bow off of one of them. Archer 3 is not bad. Um, yeah, I need, I need more viewers. I, I'm new to actually doing streaming on...
Good lord, woman. You got some big hooters. Um, Leon, named fighter, easy to find, easy to get. There's also, with this location, there's the named archer is actually... You go up here, walk along this ledge. There's a... I don't know if you guys can see where my mouse is pointing right now, a little cursor. But there is actually a named archer that spawns up there, and occasionally a named warrior. And I will be doing full armor sets for all the, the characters. Um, this room here, yes, there's another dancer here. Um, the dancers are for getting rid of corruption and just because I'm a pervert. Um, <laughs> this is my armor cover. Um, I've got um, Hyrkanian, uh, Hyperborean, medium, and light. I wear the light quite a bit because, or the medium, because I've got weight reduction kits on them. And I can carry a lot of crap. Um, I keep my miscellaneous weapons that I'm going through. And this named archer was one that was captured from right close by. Um, that was somebody else's that I was I was um, breaking for him. There was a slight glitch, and what happened is okay. This is you know in Viking times you had a great hall. Well, this one's really not like great, so it's the uh, marginal hall. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I've got dancers, I've got four of them in here, so got a table, a bunch of stuff just laying on the table. Yes, table, long. Um, and I have a little area, I'm going to put some seating out here. And you also have a little swimming pool, so if you want to get out here and do some skinny dipping, you got the opportunity. Now I've been trying to make sure that I keep all of my um, stuff set up. I'm still building, so i still got some temporary storage out here. Um, I gotta move this stuff inside the house. This is really, really dark out here. And of course it sucks that I wanna go ahead and do anything. Um, I did kind of a basic inventory system on one of my uh, uh, videos, I think. Um, the inventory system is not really all that hard to do. You just have to tie that in with your save game system. Well, this, I got plenty of ways to get in and out of the house. These things are nice, they're the triangular pieces for building, but, um, yeah, basic inventory, survival game, or any kind of game, the, the whole deal is it actually has to be tied into your save game, or it just won't save the information and the stuff you're putting in your inventory. But yeah, my, my, my two lesser wheels of pain, I use um, cooked human flesh to um, break the thralls. Seems kind of cruel and unusual punishment, but you know what? You're breaking someone's will. You need to find some more um, higher level taskmasters or whatever. I've also got doors here, so whenever it becomes light, I can always walk over this way. Somebody actually, a couple days ago, built a, um elevator right over here, right next to my house. Um, his house is actually, like, right over there. And, you know, he's got a lot of construction and a lot of stuff he's doing. So why he needed to build an elevator here, I don't know. But during the last purge, guess what it, it got attacked? This. A brand new elevator he put in. Um, but this spot right here, I'll show you again on the map... Um, it's called Freya's Hovel. This is where you get Freya. She's the named archer. And if you want a good source of named archers, this is the spot. Um, no, 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 somebody put a random thing here. Um, as soon as it gets light, I'll show a couple other things. That's my actual bed. There's a couple of caves here that I've kind of explored a little bit. You got some bad juju up there. Uh, this seems to be nicknamed um, around Telus Island Butthole Lake. I don't know why, but I guess it reminds somebody of a butthole. But as a landmark, this leg of stream that comes over to a waterfall that falls down, I have a set of stairs that leads down to the desert.
I want to go over there really quickly as soon as we get some daylight and show you my my elephant killing rig because I still have a hard time fighting because I'm just not very nimble. So I'll show you my, my elephant killer rig. Um, the den. This is a good area. There's a spot where there's one, I think right over here, and then there's two, a total of three of the uh, dancers. So if you're looking for dancers, the, uh, the den is a really good place to find them. There's also a dancer that is... Stormwatch, I believe. Alright, so I was getting daylight. So this is Freya's Rage. Like I said, she stands right there in front of my mouse. That's where Freya will stand. And that's a named archer. I'm not going to worry about taming anything right now. Uh, but another reason why I like this location that I picked is there's a lot of these um, mountain goats. Not just here, but up top as well. There's a bunch of them. So if I need to, to find meat... I got a good source. Um, light leather, got a good source. But I can run back over here. Um, the armor that I'm wearing currently is the, um, the Shemite set. Pretty good for running the desert because it's, it still allows some good flexibility and, and so forth. I've added um, weight modifiers to it so that I can carry more stuff. And look at my build that I've got going here is I'm at rank 3 on strength. That gives me thuggery, which you need if you're going to retain thralls. Um, salting wounds, 25% um, increased damage whenever they're under a cripple or a bleed or sunder. Comes in handy. And 10% more damage on light attacks, which I do a lot of. Um, agility on the rank 1, it means I use less stamina when I sprint. Accuracy is only here because of the gear that I'm wearing. It's meant to be as an archer set. Grit, I went up to rank 1, so I use 10% less stamina while I climb, which comes in handy. Encumbrance, I'm almost to rank 2 on that, which is where I'm going next, which um, means that I'm um, sure-footed, you know, less crippling effects, you know, less severe crippling effects. And the first one is... Um, balance and counterbalance, you deal 10% extra melee damage while over-encumbered, but swing 10% less, uh, whatever. The whole point of adding up in the encumbrance is so you can carry more junk. So, now that it's getting daylight, let's head to the desert really quickly. So, I don't like having to be limited on where I can and cannot go on getting in and out of the desert. So, at one point, and I've picked up a couple of them, I set up a row of torches that... Oh, God, I hate the stamina. Um, I'm not paying attention to my stamina bar. But I set up some torches so I'd know the path. I know the path now, but... Um, when you're first learning your route and how to get from point A to point B, it's helpful to go ahead and throw down a series of torches. And also, whenever it's pitch black dark, you know exactly where you're going. So you'll know, like, this little bridge here, you'll, you'll know where to find it. Um, the water's not deep enough to break a tame, so if you're dragging a thrall, you don't really have to worry about it actually um, coming loose. But if you start swimming, you will lose your, your drag on your thrall. So when in doubt, build a bridge. And you might be able to see it down here on the right. That's my elephant killing rig. So I got this nice little stairwell coming down here. There's a rhino camp in the bottom of it. Not a big deal. Um, yes, yes. Do all your thing. But it's a good spot for elephants. Um, there's usually babies in this area right here. You can kill them. Most of the time they're only going to give you um, light hide. But they will give you some um, elephant hide. Which you'll need for building some of your heavier armor sets. So basically what you're going to need for doing the elephant killing rig... Got to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. You need to have a bow with you. That's kind of a given. You have to have a bow. First off, you can use the bow to, to kite them. Which means you can shoot them with a bow a couple times. Get them mad at you. Hey, welcome like you. Get them to follow you. And then as soon as you get over to here, you run in. Go underneath there. 
Now, the elephants will glitch through and glitch over the walls. But uh, the first time I used this, I killed three elephants without dying at all. And that's being poorly geared and having no skill and talent whatsoever. So <laughs> if my old ass can do it, and I'm sure this will work well with the, the rhinos as well. But you shoot them with a the bow. And the main reason you want the bow is because what will happen is they will get... Um, a lot of damage and then they'll freak out and they'll run away from you and they will start healing if you don't interrupt that heal with the by shooting them with the bow they'll heal back up and just run off and you just kind of screw yourself not too bad like you um, a little bit better today I had some some issues earlier but which kind of sucked us right in the middle of a damn stream and I had to stop streaming so I can go take care of that but so yeah that's my my elephant killing rig so what you do is you, you bring them in, you run over here, wait till they come in. I like my poniards because I can go out, bang, bang, do a couple um, right-click attacks and get that bleed effect going. And then dodge, come over here, grab a, um, a pike and stab. And of course, it launches you forward every time you do the friggin' attack. So you can do your attacks and then roll out and just kind of run back and forth and back and forth and zigzag in and out all right well i'm not gonna be on for very long but i just want to showcase a few things you can uh, all my live streams are saved so you can come back and watch them later as well so yeah that's my elephant killer rig you, you can zigzag back and forth up and down the ladder of the stairs underneath the stairs the elephants will glitch and they will just walk over the top of the wall and next thing you know they're they're up here standing so, and that's good. Once they get up here, you can just come over here and just wham it. Stack those bleeds. You can stack up to 20 bleeds at a time. And if you're worried about getting hit, then just keep stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. And just keep running around. And it takes you a couple moments, a minutes, but yeah, whatever. Drink a little bit of water. I didn't mean to pick up the damn plant fibers. Drink the damn water. Eat your fish strips. So yeah, that's my elephant killing rig. And to build the stairs, essentially, I just started up top and I just started placing the um, the foundations down. And I made a line coming all the way out. And I just kept building up and then taking some away. And with the Pickup Plus mod, if you're not familiar with the Pickup Plus mod, I can pick up anything that I put down. So if I want to pick up these stairs, I can pick them up and move them. If you put something in the wrong location, you don't have to worry about it. Like this right here, I don't want this torch to be right here. Hold E and then select return inventory. You can do that with torches anyway, but you can also do this with foundations and anything else. You pick it up, it doesn't destroy it, and it doesn't break it up in little pieces and all that junk. So it's no problem. You can easily just throw it right back in your inventory and then place it wherever you want to again. It is a great mod, well worth getting. If you don't get any other mods, get Pickup Plus. You'll thank me and the, the mod developer from that many, many times. The next thing is a damn stamina mod. Oh, God, I hate the freaking stamina bar. It's like with these. If I want to pick these up and move them around, that's no problem. I could do that. So yeah, this this stuff right here, the yellow lotus, those are the ones you, you get 10 of them together and you can actually make the uh, the potion to unlearn. And when you do that, it unlearns all of your, your talent points here, but it also resets your feats as well. So if you like, well, screw it. I, I want to do cosmetic stuff right now, and I'm going to do house building. You just relearn, re take one of those potions. You have to take it immediately. You make it and take it. Um, you really have to, you can't just sit there and make a bunch of them and, and oh, I'll just use them as I need to. No, you make it and if you don't use it within a very, very short amount of time, it vanishes. It's gone and you just wasted the materials. You know, fish trap here. I use the fish to make fish strips and the leftover fish I put in the fluid press and turn into oil um, but yeah this this is the new layout for the house here with the nice swimming pool I got um, the great hall that's kind of a letdown 
four mammoth tusks to build that. Really? Got the, the table with all the little stuff. Got chairs. Now, one of the crap things about the game is the chairs. If you choose to sit down in the chair, sometimes I, I've, I've had it where it puts me in sideways or I've been put in the chair backwards. Um, yeah, that's a, a, an error on the the developers of the game. They need to address that and fix that. It's not that hard to fix. Um, I actually did a video on sitting in a chair on UE4. Well, yeah, like for example, I want I don't like the chair placement. I want to pick up this chair, return to inventory, grab it. Yeah. Um, grab this, throw this here. And then let's go ahead and place it a little bit closer to the table. There. So it's you know easy to pick up stuff and reposition it. You notice I've got my sandstorm mask in my inventory just in case I need it. I don't need you and you. Throw you on the ground. Yeah, I have four dancers in there just because that's my great hall. That's where, you know, get together and hang out, do whatever. So, I got the basic planner. I need to build some bigger planners later. And that's the good thing about the Lotus Blossom Potion is, you know, you can... They're easy to get the materials to do it. You gotta look for those yellow flowers and pick them up. If you use a sickle, you'll get like ten of them with one swipe at least. And hell, that's uh, enough to make a potion right there. So you walk out, whack one time, go back, make your potion uh, in the fireball cauldron, and then use it. Go ahead and redo do everything. So if you want to set up for combat, then respect your character straight up for combat. Go do combat, do your thing. This is one of the other guys' base here. Um, the reason why I'm coming over this way is I want to show off um, two different things that I've added in. Uh, to show like we show like right up there is a named archer. Um, but from my location here, we can come over here between the breach and the northern aqueduct. We're going this way, going by the trapper's can uh, cabin right here. See, I have a bedroll there, but we'll check that out here in just a second. Uh, uh, oh, the the recipes for the map room. The reason why I made that that mod to change the the recipe was because it's just gonna. I know that it's supposed to be a really cool thing, and you got to work hard to get it and all that stuff. But screw all that. Um, that's a lot of friggin' mats to, to build that. And if I'm going to be helping to build it for everybody on the server, it's a lot of them. So. This is a good place to, to be. I don't know if I'd build in this field here, but I'd build next to the water. If you build next to the water, then you've got a water source to drink. You don't have to worry about building wells. But you can build a well pretty much anywhere and get a source of water. Now there's a cave right over there. I don't know if you guys can see where I'm pointing. Because the uh, the cursor is offset. But there's a bear inside that cave. That's called the, the, the Fuzzy Fuzzy the Bear Cave. Coming up here, there's... Um, this is going towards what's called um, Asgarth. A lot of thralls. If you just want some good combat, go in there actual ones to tame or thralls to tame yeah there's some okay ones in there occasionally you find the names but more often than not you don't but if you follow this ridge around ooh, without falling off of it this little spot right over here that's Leon's rest I think that's called Leon's retreat or something like that Leon is a named uh, fighter so if you want a named archer, it's over there by my base on top of that ridge. All right, Kixie, thanks for stopping by. Look forward to seeing you more. I'll be doing some more streaming on um, on Conan and on doing mods for Conans. A named archer over there, close to my base, and right over here you have, and it should be him right there, is a named fighter. Good way to go. 
following this ridge around. You see you've got Azagarth over there. Like I said, there's plenty of NPCs in there. Uh, if you're just looking for average stuff, I don't know if I'd go in there specifically to tame, because there's a lot of stuff you got to fight through to get there. I did get a level 3 alchemist out of there. This lady right over here underneath the banner. That banner, that location, is always going to be a taskmaster. Um, I got my, my level 3 taskmaster from that spot right there. I did find a level 4 Taskmaster in another location, and I didn't realize it until I was actually... There was two of them that came at me at one one time, and I ended up with my poniards and bleeding the crap out of them. But off in the distance, right up ahead, there's usually two mammoths that are in the way here, but directly in front of me is... Nordhoff. There is a dancer that will be at the base of the altar that's over there for the religious altar. So if you're looking for a dancer, that's the you know one location to get them. There'll be like ones primarily. Occasionally you'll get a two or but if you're wanting higher levels like threes, now I haven't found any named dancers. Uh, so that's one I have to keep my eyes out for. I don't really need a named dancer. But it would be nice to replace all of my stuff with name stuff because they are a little bit hardier. Except for those stupid ass bearers. Don't waste your time taming a bearer. I did a level 3 freaking bearer and thought he would be able to carry more stuff. No. They all can carry 5 slots and it doesn't matter what you've got on there. They can only carry the 5 and well, it just sucked. And this is another uh, friend's base here, built right next to the pond, and he only built that with a Wheel of Pain just as a taming location, so we can go into Azagarth, grab something, and bring it back out there. I said that was a good place to find some of the other stuff, like the Alchemist. I found a level 3 Alchemist in there. Um, pretty sure you can find some others. I have found some name stuff that popped up in there, so that's kind of cool too. It's just kind of a rare thing that you'll find a named in the regular areas. But stuff like Leon's Rest right over here, and Freya's Roost or whatever the hell that's over here, um, those are named locations and have a named um, mob there. So I know that's where I can get my named archers and my named uh, 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 fighters. You can try different um, factions um, or religions. Hey, look, Wolf. Hey, look, that one just spawned right in front of me. I'm not worried about these damn wolves. I'm just going to keep on rocking. So I have pretty much a path laid out that comes across through here. Um, and a specific path. And yay, no stamina. And going through underneath this. Yes, I am so not worried about your stupid-ass wolf self. Coming through this little gap and then going off to the left is um, where I go for the rest of my, my higher end uh, dancers. And I'm going to kind of watch your daylight here. Wolves will chase you for quite a while. And if you want to get away from a wolf, they're pretty easy to spoof. I want them to follow me over here because I don't want them to, to follow me up there and everything else. So make sure you got the stamina and just find a rock. You go up on one side. They're steady doing their thing. And he'll sit there by that side of the rock. And just hop down the other side. Most time that's enough to spoof them. Uh, they will follow you upstairs and, and sometimes even in the freaking buildings. But I wanted a good way of getting down here to the... Uh, you can see I've got torches laid out so I can see where I'm going. I wanted an easy way to get in here for Dragon Dam Thralls. Because this area over here... And it wouldn't let me build straight out, so I had to angle it and do all kind of crap. Now, I didn't really... I could have done this a lot neater with less blocks but didn't care. 
put another block right here with a fiber bed roll just in case I get my ass kicked and I need a place to respawn which can happen if you don't have skill like me and you get in there to the uh, the where these uh, dancers are dancers carry these poniards and they will bleed you and I have had 20 bleeds stacked on me at, or 12 bleeds stacked on me at one time Now, I like you for getting in, just getting in quick, and when you're fighting one person, you can just light their ass up and they're done. If they do manage to get a hit, they might get one. More often than not, with the way I'm set right now, I can actually get in there and just destroy them. These little monkey rats over here, eh, not too bad to deal with. Over here, there is a, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and play with this guy anyway. I don't need to, but I'm gonna. Come here, you big monkey rat. Come on. Come on, what you gonna do? You wanna get a couple good attacks and drop away for a minute. Let that bleed do its thing. Let him do that. Go in here, stack a few more bleeds, do a combo, and then flop out. Let him do his thing, run around. This game is not all about face tanking. You really can't face tank. You can't get up in there and just go at it and expect that they're they're going to give you a good fight. No, they're going to whip your ass. If you don't play it smart, then... Yeah. Fighter 2. Nice knocker, Chicky. She's dead, and I'm going to do the same thing. Aw, oh, damn, a smelter, too. I could have used him. So they, they go down pretty quickly. Just got to watch that stamina. As you're getting low on stamina, oh, I really can use that. And I'll take the coal. I don't care. Um, what's that? Glowing Essence. I don't really need that just yet. Now, this guy is off, but normally he's standing in glitch and is standing on top of the uh, the blacksmith anvil and he's glitched he can't do anything he won't move so you just pop a few good hits he will swing but get a good a good few hits and get that bleed going and he dies he's a blacksmith one see him go all the way up to blacksmith three and I have actually tamed him eh nothing worth grabbing I mean I grab the stuff so much anyway. I'm a bit of a pack rat. Um, oh, what do you want, you big freaking monkey rat? I'm, I'm trying to do a damn video here. Get that bleed going. Let him do his thing. It's kind of hard to see the number, but if you look closely, you can see the number. And I've let him get too many hits on me. So, just eat some more fish strips and go. But what I was trying to say here is across the pit over here, and that's usually the, the guy that's inside the pit, so that's not a big deal. But right over here is one dancer. If you're looking for dancers, and dancers are not just for perverts like me, I mean, uh, the hell? She's unconscious. Hmm. Dancer one. Well, it's weird. She's just out here, in the middle of nowhere, already knocked out. Normally, she's right there at that campfire, or there's a dancer at that campfire. Um, what comes in the night? Yeah, I'm not gonna answer that. What do you want? Oh, a carpenter three? Huh. I think I'd rather have him than her. Um, let's go ahead and change out for my knocking stick. Alright. Let him do his thing. I've added the, um, the bonus to damage on, on concussive damage. Get a couple hits, back away. Get a couple hits, back away. Alright, so he's unconscious, so I'm going to grab him. Oh, he's a good carpenter. So, 
Um, what I was saying is uh, this spot right here, if you go up these stairs to the right here and over to that corner, there's two dancers there and there's also a taskmaster and something else. So there's two NPCs that'll be right here by these sticks and then two dancers, if you see them off in the distance over there, but you have two dancers and something else over there, and here I think it's a fighter, you got um, a taskmaster and uh, uh, something else there, I can't remember what it is but yeah I'm using my rope just to, to drag this um, thrall and it looks terrible, it gets flopped all over the place let's get ready to get dark, so I need to start heading back anyway See, I'm burning up my water, hitting that, that water skin. It's not a big deal. I've got the uh, Highland Berry juice in case I run out on my water skin. Plus, there's a, a pond right, right near there anyway. But I know that I'm heading back, and I'm going to head by a pond. I'm going to show you the, the taming process. And All right, running out of stamina. That's another good reason for having these torches laid out. Now I know that I had a wolf off to my left and the one that was camping over there and normally there's like a elk right over here which will charge you so yep wolf's following me that's eh, nice of him I'm not gonna stop and play with him because I'm gonna lose my thrall and my rope is not in great condition so it's getting really dark that's going to be difficult to see, but I know that my landmark reference is to go, um, you got the two broken gaps, and then a gap right there, and that's where I want to go. I'm not worried about these wolves, they're not going to be able to catch me. They might hit me every so often, but I'm only going to slow down long enough to rebuild my stamina, and just keep sprinting. You can sprint while you're carrying a thrall, and I'm going to run right through more wolves too, so... I cannot see diddly shit and squat. This is a den of wolves. There's usually three here. So it's really not a good thing when you're trying to, to run in the middle of the dark and run through a, um, a group of them. But I know that I can just keep hitting seven, which is my fish strips, and I'll heal back a little bit. Just need to make sure that I'm not running too far to the right because there is a pond. I know this area pretty well, so... Hey, I'm out of stamina. See, I see the two lights, I need to run to the right. And it is pitch black ass dark. Now if I had a torch with me, that would be nice. The hell is that blue coming out of there? I know that I can dodge into his place. Even getting close, those wolves, if they're too close, then they'll come out and attack, but not so much worried about it. Again, I hate that it's so friggin' dark that I can't see what I'm doing. It would have been smart to carry a torch with me to be on the safe side. But I know pretty much where I'm going. I know you guys can't see anything. I apologize. Welcome to Conan Exiles. Damn wolves are still following my ass. You know, this is retarded. I can't see shit. I can't see, where, I mean, literally, I cannot see where I'm going. So I'm going to have to go back towards this guy's base. Get my bearings again. Or just dodge in here, make sure I'm still carrying my damn thrall. My rope is getting weak. And his guys ain't doing shit. Get to work, damn it. I've got to hurry up, because you notice that the, um, the health bar on my rope is getting a little on the weak side. What happens if I get stuck between these two rocks there, then I get blocked at nighttime. 
I gotta make it back before my rope breaks. Because if it breaks, then I lose my thrall. And I should have had it repaired before I leave out. You should always get into the habit of repairing all your ship before you go out on a major expedition. Alright, so if any of those stupid ass wolves are still following me, then they're just screwed. Because they're not going to make it through these guys. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pick a, a wheel. I'm going to go in here. This one just happens to use Gruel. Hit E to go into it. And there we go. It put it in there. I hit go and it will start. So you just want to make sure you got plenty of Gruel. Um, our level th one will go pretty quickly. And actually, you go way down here. Holy shit, is that damn wolf in my house? Get the hell out of my damn house. And I ought to go kill every damn one of my guards because, you know, what the hell am I paying your asses for? Come here. No, I don't. No, you're just going to have to die. Wolf head and some feral flesh. I don't even want your damn flesh. You just get that shit out of my inventory right now. Fangs, I don't even want that shit either. I'm gonna keep your damn head. Throw it out on the damn ground outside so your buddies can see it. Um, I ought to kick every day. Your ass. I ought to kick your ass and your ass. And damn sure your ass, a level 4 ram fighter. Yeah, you're not geared up yet, but the hell you got a freaking battle axe and a shield and you didn't do shit to that wolf pain in the ass and your tits did not scare him off so no bueno so this is my my hidden stick station the uh, I'm gonna do right now you can see how close I was I had 2.1 left of my freaking durability so I'm gonna repair that I actually have a spare one that's already complete you know 100% I'm just going to go ahead and drop this one in here and throw that back in here get my hidden stick out of my inventory and let's throw I don't know, screw it where, where the hell's my skinning knife? I don't need my stickle I don't have a damn skinning knife where in the hell is my skinning knife? so come back over here plenty of swords and junk but I have to repair these damn ponyards so frequently. Um, the durability really sucks on them. I mean, it's 311. I'll go out and I'll wear them out after about three three excursions, just because I'm killing lots of crap with it. I don't use my sword and shield that much, but there is a combo attack that I like to do. Is I will lead off with the, the ponyards. I'll get two or three good um, right click attacks, a left click attack, roll backwards change my sword and shield and then just block and, and hit and I can take most things that way some hardened steel daggers but I can't do hardened steel yet the dried wood used to go to the artisan and stupid ass wolf head which I don't think I can mount wolf heads yet hyena Ah, wolf, right there. Yep, your ass is going up on the damn wall. Elk and black bear I can't do yet. That is a damn waste of resources. XX Tusk Trophy. Use four tusks and four shaped wood, and you get that stupid-ass looking hyena head. Really? So don't waste your time with it, unless you really want the little frickin' hyena head. Instead, just go get your frickin' hyena. Look at gazelle, deer with no antlers on it. Yeah, that's something cool. Um, yeah. We're going to take this wolf head. We're going to go throw that in the great house. And we're going to call it. We'll come back in and do some more later. I'm going to throw some coal in here. Because I need to do some more brimstone to steel fire. We're going to mount this. Call it quits because it is lunchtime. I said that I was going to do um, lunch before I did this stream, but and some other things came up, and yeah, okay.
So we've got heads all the way up here going around, spaced out nicely. Um, we've got this ugly ass hyena head out here. So yeah, entertain times four. You can sit here and just sit down on one of these chairs and entertain six. If you've got any corruption, yeah, it'll go away pretty quickly. Another nice thing is if you decide you want to um, Mm, there's one of these that um, yeah gluttonous eating food will act as a healing potion uh, there was another thing that I saw somewhere on one of them that um, when you're entertained so to speak uh, you gain hit points back or whatever also Pizza still have 10 points available. Um, and hell, I'm really close. A little over 30,000 hit points from leveling up. So th I know that I've got a camp that's right here that I use as my, well, go get a couple XP, kill a few things, that kind of stuff. Another fish trap over here. You can see why I built this at this location. The wood, the stone, the iron. There's just so much of it around that it's so easy to, to quickly throw together a nice base. And you have yellow lotus. So you can respect anytime you freaking want to. Grab ten of those damn flowers with your sickle. Which you can see, there's, that's three plants already in this short trip. So that would have been 30 flowers. Plus you got a... Um, thing out there you can utilize, utilize, get a message, mission from. This island there has a bear and bear cubs. When you're still wimpy and you can't really do much damage against a bear and you can't figure out how to kill them yet, you can kill the babies. The babies will drop bear pelt from on occasions and light hide. Welcome back. So if you're on the weak side and you can't really get much, then that island you can go over there and kill the babies and get some some bear pelts, which you can then use on your tannery to convert into thick hide. And if you're trying to get armor that requires thick hide and you can't think of a good source for it, baby bears, good source. So this is my little close camp where I just go in here and just wreck shit and, and um, just get some quick XP. Because you can see I'm, I'm really close to being able to level up. 5,739,150 and I'm at 5,705,000 so really close this may or may not do it here but I know that I got, this camp here is almost entirely is, well it is entirely archers I mean there, there, there there's like 5 or 6 guys here and they're all archers so I come in here behind this Saying, what the hell? Were you two like inside of each other? Seriously, what the hell? You know what? I'm gonna take your grease orb. I'm not worried about your glass flask. Got more of them than I know what to do with now. I ain't worried about that crap. But you guys saw that, right? Come to attack, and there was two of them in one side of the other. Generally, come over here with this guy, and that's again. I'm getting my ass kicked. I've never seen that happen before. They're doubled up. You shot me in the arm, you son of a bitch. Yes, that was very, very poor work there, but it, I've never seen that happen before where there's the mobs are double stacked. What the hell? I don't know. Has anybody else seen that happen before? Or? That's not doubled up. Archer 3. You'd have been probably cool to have. I'm going to steal your bark. Because I'm lazy and don't like picking out bark. This guy over here, always glitch. You can't attack him. Oh, that sounds like fun. Broken knee. Yeah, this guy will glitch, and I can't go over there and hit him. So I've got to kite him away from his spot so I can attack him. That's doubled up. I see two of them there. This one, the same thing. It, 
glitch. I can't go over and I can't attack that one. So I actually have to come around, get him pissed off, then I'll stand right here, wait for him to come through, then I'll jump down and whip his ass. Yeah, these Ponyers are... Yeah, if you've got good stamina and, well, exceptional iron mace, and yeah, it's worn the hell out. Screw that. Well, sometimes you'll get a double pull with that. Definitely, a lot of times with this one, you're going to get... That one's going to show up with there. You asshole. What the hell's wrong with you? Sit there and shoot me in the damn face. You see, got an arrow sticking in my freaking mouth. What am I chewing on a freaking arrow? And I gotta get him to move because he stands in that glitch spot and I, I can't attack him. So, since I see these guys are doubled up, I'm not gonna pull both of them at one time. See, I can't hit him. Yes, that's the green line. You don't want to go into that, that green haze. You asshole. I'm not paying attention here. i die. Your ass is cut in half because you pissed me off. Now, lay there in pieces and think about what you did. Oh, shit. Um, that's a named. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. I want to steal your soul. And I didn't bring my hidden stick, did I? Yeah, I did. Which one's the named? Are you the named? Shoot me, I don't care. You, don't die. I don't want you dead. Your buddy can die. Stop bandaging. You can die. I have no desire for anything from you. Now, get over here and heal throw my hidden stick on dude don't die don't die don't die put my hidden stick out and pull out my hidden stick and my shield since he is an archer um Why is my shield not coming up? I've been able to use my shield before with this thing. Well, that sucks. I can't use my shield with my hidden stick. I'm not worried about him. I just want to make sure he's not bleeding anymore. Because I don't want him to die. I want to let him get his health back up. I don't care how many fish strips i got to go through. Okay. He went back to normal, and he should be healing back up. So, we're going to go ahead and let him make sure he's good and healed up. Oh, no, kiss my ass. Make sure you're healed. Because I'm going to whack his ass over the head with his damn hidden stick. Because he has a named archer that I don't already have. Seriously, hit him. Pokey pokey. You ain't pokey pokey in me. Come on. Yep, as soon as he pulls that bow out, I know he's not going to be able to hit me for a few minutes. Damn it. Oh, good God. Just hit the damn thing with a stick. I never said I was a good gamer. Alright, so put your weapon away. Put your hidden stick away. Eat some damn fish sticks. Grab your damn dragon rope. I came over here to kill everything and just get some XP. I wasn't expecting to find a named archer over here. I've never seen a named archer pop up. Never refill my uh, water skin. 
That is not a problem, huh? And you guys let me let me forget to do something there. Um, gonna have to um, ish a name. He's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna put him on the regular wheel of pain. Um, I have seen in the in going through the the mod uh, dev kit, there is um, a timer effect that is on the different wheel of pain ranks, like a lesser wheel of pain. Um, Wheel of Pain and Greater Wheel of Pain. Yes, it is risky to go walking through the water while you're you're dragging a thrall, but I want to refill my skin and drink some water and weigh some more fish sticks. I'll come back out and get my fish later and, and make some more fish sticks. I just want to get this guy into a Wheel of Pain and show you what I was talking about here. So the reason why I put the signs up in there, and you'll see again whenever I get into the rooms, um, I've got four different rooms for the different wheels. I've got two wheel of pain and two lesser wheel of pain. There's not that much of a difference in time frame on them, but there is. So this being a named, I can look empty, empty, everything says empty. I did not put a name on there. So I know this one is empty, and I just got to put some food in here. So I'm going to drag it down here, and I'm going to try something else as well. So we can see we have something in here. We have a Carpenter 3. So what we need to do is make sure that we come in here and go to our wall sign, and Dings L3 Carpenter. So I, I remember what's in where. Um, or this one. Yes, my character's name is Nadine. If you guys ask me later, I'll explain that. Um, this was a L4 or level 4 archer. So let's save on that and we need to get some grub. So this is a perfect time to let's go ahead and put those in there. Repair, repair, grub this guy, our sickle, and let's go ahead and put that there, that there, and because I like to keep my bars full, because what will happen is as you're going through and getting your stuff to make your gruel with, then I'm. Um, uh, you'll get like insects will show up in your freaking bar, uh, crap like that. The sickle is worth its uh, its while. See, it's twelve per swipe. Oh. Stupid wolf! And I know I can't rely on my idiots to do anything. So I don't even care about anything about that wolf. So you're just wanting the seeds and you're wanting the plant fiber. As you can see, I'm getting a shit ton. I'm getting an average of 10 or 12 per swipe. I'm also getting highland berries, which I can put in my, my press. And that will make the highland berry juice, which you can use for... Um, that's 28 seeds. I'll get these couple bushes right here and that'll be good enough. Gruel is just um, plant fiber and the seeds. That's all you need. Um, I've started changing all of my cooking stuff over to coal. It's relatively easy to get and relatively plentiful in this area. So I'm going to come over here to this. Ooh, look, putrid meat. Go away. And let's put the seeds and put that in there. Throw those away and get that going so we can get our, our dude going. Fluid press, put your berry seeds in there and it just automatically kicks off. It'll automatically start making. So I've got food here, drink here. So I have spare food. I know it spoils. Don't care. I have plenty. So it's always good to just sort through your stuff. I don't need your 
seeds there so you know that you've got stuff in the appropriate areas um, dry wood so a few more heads they got a wooden bowl I need to put that in its correct location so what I want to do is I want to let that start cooking as soon as I get a hundred I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and just throw it on there so I can start my my thrall of bacon all right so a, a named is going to take a while so we know that this is our level 4 archer we have a 2 taskmaster put that in there it's only going to be for 2 hours and 47 minutes so I'm going to need to stock it up with quite a bit see I have 20 hours of it available in this one I'm going to leave that taskmaster 3 in there um, I don't know if it's going to do it or not I'm going to see if the glitch happens. The Taskmaster 1. Take him out of here. And you can see we have a Carpenter 3 that's cooking in here. And a Taskmaster 3 on there. I'm going to take and do that. Put the Taskmaster 1 in. Put the 3 in here. Put him back. Sometimes when you you change your um your thrall that's is working the wheel occasionally it will glitch and it will finish doing a tame it'll finish doing a break and that has happened several times where I've done that and it actually finishes doing the um thing all at once it's an unusual glitch but uh I'll take it nonetheless you're not done cooking yet you got four more berries or seeds so I can just wait for just a minute, let it finish up. Again, today's drink of choice. Ah, Mountain Dew Throwback. Good Shiite. Alright, that's 200 more. Gruel is it's cheap and plentiful. So it's not the best food you can put in here but it does get enough it's eight hours and 19 minutes the burn time is what you really need to, to look at so we got our wolf we didn't put our wolf head up so let's actually put our wolf head up here drop that out put that here just as a warning to all these other wolves that want to show up you can kiss my ass this is my house I'll put wolf heads all over the damn front of this house. It's going to be the damn wolf's den. I don't care. Yes. Uh, character's name is Nadine. I am no longer married, by the way. Um, divorce was final a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, or so. Paperwork showed up in the mail, that kind of crap. Uh, you can see I'm really distraught and heartbroken. Um... Yeah. Doesn't mean I dislike my ex-wife. Still love her. We're still friends. I don't hate her. We just weren't meant to be married. Shit happens. So, not like it's a bitter moment in my life or anything. We've been friends since... Oh, God. 1980... Well, we met in 1983. So, you know. Whatever. Whatever. And, but no, her name was not Nadine. That was the name of my first true love. So whenever I'm playing in a game where I'm going to be a female character, and why am I playing a female character when I'm obviously... I know my voice is sexy and sultry and awesome and shit, but um, I'm obviously not a woman. <coughs> no, no, the boys are still there, all three of them. Um, but yeah... Uh, yeah, I in World of Warcraft many years ago, I played a my first character was a male night elf hunter, and then I'm like, okay, cool. Then I decided I was going to go onto the other side and play the um, a Torin, and yeah, when you stare stare at a male character's ass, you know, it's okay, whatever. You're not paying attention to it, but um, you know. I'm 
I, I like women. Women are beautiful creatures, you know. What can I say? They're awesome. And, you know, if I'm going to play something where I've got to stare at a character, especially from behind, I would much rather look at the beautiful form of a woman than, well, a guy's ass, you know. So that's why I play female characters whenever I play games that allow me to be a female character. It's not that I secretly wish to be a woman, although I do like to feel pretty from time to time, so y'all kiss my ass. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so yeah, this is my armor. This is my my normal weapons cabinet. Um, this room was initially going to be like a a sitting room, which I probably will still do part of this area as a sitting room, and have you know my dancers and stuff like that. So you get the uh, the perk of being entertained, to get rid of corruption and that kind of stuff. Um, I don't have doors because it's a pain in the ass when you're trying to drag a thrall and open a door and come over here and then open another door and then come over here and open another door and then come over here and open another door just to be able to get to where I can tame a thrall. I've got full shelter all the way throughout the entire house. But yes, nice little trick though. Put a little simple wall sign up and say what's in there. This room is empty. This room is empty. So when you're coming in dragging a thrall Oh shit, which one's empty when you have multiple wheels? Since I have four wheels, I can just look. Oh, this one's empty, this one's empty. Okay, I can just go in here and drop them in there and be done with it. But I come down here, what's in this one? Oh yeah, that's my level four archer. Oh, that's my level three carpenter. And I can come in here and check from time to time. I'm going to have to come back later and I'm going to have to restock this. I've got eight hours, so I'm not a huge hurry. Go to log out. I always make sure that I'm good on food, which I'm about to restock my fishies. Make sure I'm good on water. I've got a named archer standing right over there. I already showed him earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and check the fish traps really quickly. And um, we got in here feral flesh. I don't know why I have glass flasks in here some salt, some spices, some honey, some shrooms, some soup made up. Screw your putrid meat. And I'm going to go next door and shoot the neighbor's dogs for being annoying. And I might shoot him too, so. So, I'm going to go out here and hit my fish traps. I'm just going to grab all of the fish. And even if I don't need that particular type of fish, then, you know, the fish sticks require one of each of the three types of fish. And there shouldn't be anything but a little bit of wood in there. Oh, I love the dark. I love the stamina. It is so ar awesome. So I go to this fish trap. I'm just going to hit F. I don't even have to open it up. I know that it's just going to take all of it without doing anything else. Go over here. Probably ought to put them closer together. I had them side by side at one point, And, you know. I need to put my torches back up, too. I can't see my damn fish trap. Uh, come on, lightning. There it is. Come on, one more time, lightning. Come on. Flash. There we go. So yeah, you can open it this way and hit spacebar, or when you're sitting next to it and you're looking at it, just hit F. Hit F. Thank you. Loot all. Wow. Putrid meat means, whenever it pops up on a right like that, means that uh, something has gone sour already. I don't know if fish have been in that trap for a while, but damn. Out of stamina. Hmm, who'd have thought? So I'll come in here, put up my stove, and I can see I got 50. 50 and 35 so 50 50 and 35 and then 50 50 and 35 so that should be equal amounts of all of them and then I need to find fish strips 
and I can craft 135 of them bastards. I'm going to grab the flask out of here, and it should give me a little bit more room. The flasks are actually used for filling to make the water things. No room. No room. The hell? Antelope trophy. And I got candles. I need to put those out somewhere. Alright, so I'll put that up. The rest of the fish that's left over, I'm going to go ahead and just throw inside the, um, the fluid press and it's going to grind them into oil. And let's go ahead and put antelope. You know, we want the wolves outside. The stock it full of wolves. We seem to get a lot of the antelope trophies, so let's put it here. And when I get another one, I'll spread it out. Because the pickup plus mod, I can just walk over and return to inventory. So I can pick it up and I'll put it here, and I'll put another one here, another one there, 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 and the the cross section of the uh, things. And then if I get more, then I can start putting them in the middles again. And yeah, just whatever. I am entertained. Yes, she's topless. Hey, that's the way she broke, so that's the way I left her. Alright, so that's that. I got everything going. I got that. And there's my damn skin knife. Even though I don't need it right now. But all of my extra stuff that I don't need should be in here. You get in the habit of knowing where you put things and it won't be a problem. Like, where is this? Okay, well, this is armor, weapons. This is armor. And yes, if I want to go up north, I will go into my heavy armor set. Um, it's set for cold weather. The rest are set for warmer weather. If I'm going to go um, be farming, I'm going to wear either the light. Why is my Hyperborean mixed there? Alright, so the light stuff, that's why. These are set with weight reductions on them. They're low grade, lightweight, they have armor and bonus encumbrance, but I can put that on and I can carry a shitload of stuff. I can go out and get a thousand um, iron ore at one time. So, by having that on there with my encumbrance and everything else, I can carry a lot of stuff on me. So, we got all of our. Yes, that's all good. And our fish strips. Oh. We told it to craft, but we also have to turn the damn thing on. That is so annoying. Well, I got 33 coal in here, so I'll let it cook. And the only thing I've got in my food stash is grilled steak. Not great. Whatever. I end up with tons of it, so I just I use it whenever I'm out of everything else. Um, so it's just it's better than nothing food. It's mid grade. So is the fish strips, but the fish strips are a lot better. Thanks, Tam. Um, so we'll come back and we'll, we'll check our fish strips in a little bit. And we'll make sure that everything's good to go on our teams. And that's it. So I'm sure I bored you guys long enough. Um, if you guys want to see more, let me know. Throw me a comment in Discord. And I will be glad to stream more. Plus, I want to stream some more of the um, doing the the mod development for this game as well. Seriously. The hell, bees? One honey. Seriously. That one honey has been here for a couple days. But I came up here a couple times and it was a shitload of honey. I'll put it in here, but... I mean, I had so much that I just had to make mead just to burn it up. So yeah, the fermentation barrel, you just grab that, throw that in there. You want to make absinthe. It's just a mixture of leavening agent and glowing goop, which I don't have but one of. Ale, hops. Never seen hops anywhere. Cactus, okay. There's no cactus involved in making cactus wine. Plant fiber and leavening agent. Desert wine, which is the, the berry pulp and purified water, and leavening agent. The leavening agent itself is not hard to find if you know what to look for. You've got um, the standard bushes here up north. These are going to give you the desert berries. Um, 
I'll kiss my ass, wolf. I swear, you can't do shit for these damn wolves. I'm not even about to skin your ass. You lay there and rot and think about what you did. Um, yes, the leavening agent. So again, these are just the regular desert berries. It's these right here. These guys are going to give you your leavening agent. And if you're doing it by hand, you're going to get far less. You're getting two and two and two. Yeah, it's just not worth your time to, to not have a sickle. These guys, false mandrake, I, other than for dyes, I really haven't found much of a use for them. I don't want the stuff. I'll worry about farming it later. I'll come out with my sickle and I'll just do it. But, you've also got the yellow lotus, which is for the, the memory wipe potion. And, I'll show you where you make that real quickly. And then we'll call it quits on this video. And if you guys want to see more, let me know. But I, I do need to go cook. I am a fat kid, and I'm getting hungry. Oh, um, I'd do something simple like some hot dogs or hell, I don't know. I know for dinner tonight I'm cooking some orzo and roasted chicken and yeah, all kind of good shit. Oh yeah, fireball. Come over to fire cauldron. Steel fire, craft twenty one, and I'm out of frickin' coal already, son of a bitch. But yeah, yellow lotus potion now requires seven. I would swear yesterday it was ten, but maybe because I've got an alchemist on here, it's reduced the amount that I have to use. Okay, so I did add an alchemist three on here, so. But yeah, that's the the potion. You make it and you use it immediately, or else you lose it. I was hoping that would have gone down, but there's only one of each, so I guess it's not a big deal. You got 62 coal. I'm gonna take half of your shit. And I'll put it in here because I need to cook down this freaking stuff here. I want to finish cooking down this um, brimstone. Steel fire is what you need for making steel, and it's brimstone and tar. Okay, and to make tar, essentially you come over to your tannery, and you put pelts and bark in, and it creates tar. As you can see, I have no shortage of it. To make something like that little well that's upstairs, it took 300 tar. I'm starting to run low on thick leather, so I'm going to have to go um, farm some more of that. But, what do I have stored over here? Uh, I have some rhino hide, and I have some feline pelts. And some regular hide. So I can take this rhino hide, put that over in the other one, and convert that over and turn that into heavy leather. But I just want to keep some of this on hand. Um, I thought I had some elephant also. Wow. Or the hell's the rest of my elephant? I guess I used all my elephant hide. Um, that one's still empty, so I've got a bunch of fur that I have not been using. So I'm not going to keep collecting fur if I'm not using it. I'm sure I'll, I know I need it later. But both of these two boxes right here are full. That's over 3,000 regular leather. A lot. Um, holy hell, two more antelope trophies. Son of a biscuit. Well, let's go put these bastards up. That poor bear head's been in here for a while, so is that elk head. <laughs> They're probably good and frickin' ripe by now. So let's go ahead and just stack them up. I don't care. I haven't killed that many frickin' antelope. They actually just drop as loot on some mobs. So I'll just line this hole down inside of this wall with frickin' um, those heads. Outside of the wall will be all wolf heads, and I don't give a shit about the inside. I'll probably build some banners or something to put on there. Um, the artisan work table. Come in here and make carpets. Um, 
large banners, which takes silk. It's not that hard to get silk. I've got a good little spot that I can go to. It's a cave. You get the gossamer and turn the gossamer into silk. But when you first go into the cave, there's no spiders for quite a while. So you can get in there and just farm crap out of that stuff. Large rug. Large carpet. It's just 36 plant fiber. I mean, this is easy stuff to make just for decorating your home. Pillows. Um, feathers and silk. I mean, feathers. I got a spot not far from me that has some feathers. Or I can go back down to my desert house and loot the crap out of it. Got a spot down there that in the desert. Oh my god, the feathers. Small banner. Silk and twine. Always freaking need twine. When in doubt, just if you got a bunch of extra twine, make about make a stack of freaking twine. You'll you'll need it. I promise. Tapestries, they hang flat on the wall. That's the long table. Not bad. Table rectangle. Another table. And there's your wall sign. It's just one shaped wood and 20 branches. Make them. Use them. Hang them on the wall especially. And you can put a sign outside too. And say, hey, this is my freaking house. Um, but that one simple trick right there of okay well this I know these are my taming rooms or after all break rooms break rooms <laughs> um, but yeah these two are empty I know there's nothing on those wheels I can look this is my level 3 carpenter I can walk in here and know that he's what's inside there this is a level 4 archer so this one's going to need a buttload of freaking time so I'm, I'm going to come back with later and I'm going to make probably a thousand freaking gruel and just load it up. If you're wondering why I have a grass mat, a sleeping mat with me, is because you never know. You get into an area where it looks like you might start getting your ass kicked. Um, it's always good to carry one foundation and one sleep roll so you can plop both of them down and have a quick respawn point. So if you do get killed, you won't have to go a huge distance. Alright, so fish strips, good to go. Draw that whole stack in there, and do that. And I got 90 left over, lovely. Let's go ahead and take all 90 of those. Leave any other stuff in there, but throw them inside here so I know that I've got extras. And I got a couple steak with me, so I've got a full stack of fish strips. And a couple steaks. That leaves me ready for my next expedition, whatever I choose it to be. My current next expedition is going to be lunch, since it's really late. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.